my name's Lily618. Today I'm doing a little unboxing for you guys. A little package I got from Punitware.com. In case you haven't tell, been able to tell by the uh, title of the video or by the little intro I put out in the beginning. It's a Team Caliber limited edition blackout jersey. I had it customized with my gamer tag on it. And uh, I'm getting ready to see what it looks like. So we're going to go through everything. The quality of the product. The, um, the fit. And some of the stuff about the service that Punk were uh, provided, which uh, you guys are going to want to hear about that part. So, yeah, let's just get this open. There's a Jesus. Don't cut yourself now. I know. Right, if you guys haven't been able to tell already, my buddy Alan is on the camera. Say hi, Alan. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> that was ridiculous, I know. Yeah. That's how Alan does it, folks. He's ridiculous as all hell. Oh no, I tore the box. Who cares? Ooh. And yeah, they wrapped that up nicely. Alright. Well, let's get out of this. <clears throat> ah, nice. Alright. So, here's what we got, guys. Here we got the front of the design. And you can just tell just by feeling it. It feels nice, guys. It feels nice. Everything's got a nice print to it. It's got the Team Caliber logo on it. It's got all the sponsor logos on the sleeves. Really cool. And you got you getting a good visual of that? Yes. Huh? Okay, good. And we flip it on over to the back. As you can see, got my gamer tag. Look at that name tag right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm glad they actually got that. Um, I've seen some people have their Twitter handles on there. Uh, I kind of forgot to tell them, hey, here's my Twitter, if that could be put on there. I'm not. They didn't even have a spot for that. To like an individual spot that probably could have been something I wrote in there on the order, but doesn't really matter. But it looks good, it feels great. Can't wait to try it on. And um, speaking of which, I'm actually gonna put this on right now, guys. And I'm actually gonna spend a few hours with it because me and Alan, we got oh, that's time. disgusting. No, I'm just gonna, <laughs> <laughs> we don't... I'm gonna go put this jersey on real quick. Uh, me and Alan got class here in a little bit, we gotta go talk to professors and whatnot. So... I'm going to try this on. I'm going to wear this for a few hours. I'm going to come back to you, tell you about the fit, tell all about its comfort, and then we'll get into the other stuff as far as their pun wear surface. So for that, we'll see you guys in a few hours. Alright guys, so as you can see, I got the jersey on. Been wearing it around for a few hours. Um, you know, it fits pretty good. The sleeves are a little long for me, but I kind of expect that. Uh, just letting you guys know, I did order a 2X, which is typically what I wear in shirts. And it's, you know, it's got a good fit. It's a little bit long here at the tail. Uh, so, yeah, I would say if you're going to buy this, uh, you're going to want to order in the shirt size you have. Um, it's a little baggy, it's a little long, but it's not to the point where you're going to be able to order an XL instead of a 2XL. <coughs> yeah, it fits pretty good, it feels nice, comfortable, you know, really cool. Probably something you can actually wear during the summer, even. So, yeah, it fits nice. Definitely, like I said, wear, buy in the size of a t shirt you would normally get. And yeah, that's pretty much it about the fit. So, all right. So now it's time to talk about the pricing, which is probably the most important thing, and also the service that went along behind it. Um, with the pricing, the jerseys cost about sixty-five, sixty-six dollars, as I'm, my nose itches. But it costs about sixty-five, sixty-six bucks. If you get it personalized, it's another three bucks. Overall, I think I spent like sixty-nine bucks on the jersey, and a lot that alone is not too bad. But the problem I had with the price was. Whenever you include shipping, it went up to 80 bucks. Um, and the thing is, is that they use the U.S. Postal Service within the United States. So, as I hold it upside down, but who cares? But they use the U.S. Postal Service. They don't use UPS or FedEx. So, you know, it's probably just, you know, for the sake of, you know, price and trying to keep it as cheap as possible. But, I mean, it's not anything too major. So... But I do have a couple of concerns as far as, you know, the service that came behind it. Obviously, like, I emailed them about four weeks after I ordered because, like I said, they do take four to six weeks to produce the jerseys because they make them upon order. So I contacted them about four weeks in, four or five weeks in, and said, yeah, it will be ready in about two weeks at the most. And they were very quick to respond, but... There's like things like whenever I went and I purchased it, as soon as, you know, I completed the order and, you know, got all the info out there, 
um, I had to take a screenshot of the order form because they would not, they did not email me the order um, form, you know, to say, you know, I bought this product with these specs for this much. They did not do that, which is I find kind of weird because um, whenever I order G Fuel, Gamma Labs does that, and you know, it's just something that I like to have on my records, and you know, I want to make sure I have all that stuff just to make sure that it went through. Um, and then another thing was, is whenever they did ship it, whenever they told me that they had completed the order and that it was being ready to be shipped, uh, I never got a tracking number, in which, if you guys can probably tell, I marked out the number, but the Postal Service does use tracking numbers, and I feel like I should have gotten some sort of tracking number so I could see where my package was, how long it was going to take for it to get here, and I never got that. And I kind of feel like that should have been something else that, um, should have been available to me. Um, I don't know, maybe that's just some sort of policy Planet Aware has, but I kind of feel like that should have been, um, something that should have been, you know, there. Because, I mean, that's kind of a standard thing nowadays. I mean, you order something from Amazon or from another web website, they usually give you a tracking number whenever they ship your order. So, that kind of bugged me a little bit. But overall, it wasn't too bad. It was packaged nice. I mean, they tried to, you know, bring some quality into packaging and, uh, you know, Made sure that it was at least, you know, they try to keep the prices down for the customers. Um, another thing, I, now that I'm thinking about it, I kind of wish they had, like, discount codes available, which I found out later on, like, yesterday the day before they actually do. But I can never find a discount code. And also, I would, I kind of feel like there should have been some sort of, like, you know, spend 75 or 100 bucks on an order, get free shipping. Um, because, to be honest, I probably would have bought something else besides the jersey if I had gotten free shipping along with it. But, you know, that's, you know, just my little, um, you know, view on that. So, overall, guys, this jersey, well, overall, you know, feels good. It looks good. I mean, it's just really good overall product. The service could have been a little bit better, but it wasn't too bad overall. So, overall, I give this a four out of, or four and a half out of five stars. Um, I do know that they do other teams as well, so if you're fan, not a fan of TK like I am, but you're a fan of Denial, or if you're a fan of, I think, F Team Fear uh, also goes through Punaware. But if you're a fan of those teams, uh, go check out Punaware, and you can get a, a bunch of other apparel and a bunch of other jerseys and stuff. It's a really cool website. It focuses a lot on the gaming community and the esports community. It's really a great um, company, a great product. So, yeah, that's my review. Four and a half out of five stars. Like I said, let me know if you got any questions in the comments down below. Also, while you're there, hit the like button. Hit subscribe. Hit favor if you really like this for some reason. And that being said, my name's LittleWilly618. That's Alan at the camera. Thanks, Alan, for actually doing this. So I don't have to, <laughs> didn't have to open this thing one-handed like I've had to in my other unboxing videos. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys. <clears throat> That's the review. If you got any questions, let me know. Like I said, I probably said that five times already, but I don't care. My name's Lily618, and I'm out. Peace!